Saturday, so I mean, they're kind of like rolling the dice to do a little bit of both. Other than here, as I mentioned a while ago, they're, they're locked into such a box of rules with all the springs and pretty much the shocks. You know, you've got what you got. It's pretty much about air pressure changes, maybe a little wedge change from qualifying to race. And let's catch up with Matt. Mike, I've caught up with another open wheel USAC champion. Trouble, oh, trouble, turn two. trouble, turn two. Two cars are three around cars. hard. We've got three cars around. Mike. David Green at 27, Elliot Sadler the 90. And, and Mike, I think we go back and look at the replay. One of these cars lost a tire. All of a sudden, he went up the racetrack and around and triggered this whole deal. We had a problem right there that seemed to be like tire related. And yep. I think that right there is uh, that's Anthony, Anthony Foyt. Anthony Foyt right there. 38 Foyt. car. Yeah. I'm not sure, Jeff. Was it a tire or did the, a wheel center? let go did that whole wheel come off and trigger the crash whatever it was one know, car I, went into a snap spin exactly i seen him go up the racetrack went. real quick there he goes he w wiggles right there just a little bit the 90 car of elliot sadler goes up the race that had all the, the look that it possibly maybe had a tire go soft right of course nowhere for david green in the 27 car to go if you take a look right there alongside david green's car there goes the tire rolling down the racetrack something else happened in front of those two cars judging from the the smoke trailing you can oh see, yeah there it was 20 you can see the 90 as he turned off in the car corner he wiggled like something was going wrong there and then as it walked up the racetrack again it had to look that a tire was going soft and they clipped kenny wallace the 20 i believe that was the 22, the 22 going by right And guys, I'm not too sure that wheel we saw come off that car came off the 22 car of uh, Kenny Wallace's. Elliot Sadler is okay. See Elliot Sadler getting out of the car. See the car wiggle right there a little bit. Now it starts to walk up the racetrack. Elliot Sadler, the 90. Clips Wallace. Just nowhere for David Green to go. Every one of those cars has a look that they will be going probably to a backup car. And that wheel that's rolling, the center is broken out of it, but likely that's from impact right there. The, uh, the wheel may have been the right rear of Kenny Wallace's where he I got clipped by was, the front of yeah. Sadler's car. That's why the reason I wanted to see the replay again, no. just to make sure, like you mentioned, that it wasn't off that 90 car, but there's, I don't think it was. And there, as you mentioned, Jeff, there's also heavy damage to the right side of Anthony Foyt's car, but he has driven back around to the garage. There he goes in the garage, and all the damage is on the right side. Four cars heavily damaged in a turn two crash. We'll be right back. A lot of damage in the garage area. This was David Green's Bruco Ford. And uh, heavily damaged from this. That's the 27. Watch car number 90, middle of your screen. Car just comes around, nowhere for David Green to go in the 27 car. Or Kenny Wallace in the 22. They're all just kind of like victims. Yeah, that was that definitely, was definitely the right rear off of Kenny Wallace in 22. But it really appeared like when he had uh, the 90 car had a tire go down on him that kind of triggered this whole thing. Uh, he's going to get down inside the car and make sure things right. This is on board from Kenny Wallace's car. Let's go back and show you, excuse me, let's go back and show you what happened to Anthony Floyd the fourth, where he got all the right side damage in all that. He's in car number 38. Oh. Well, that's why it wasn't on the Kenny Wallace uh, onboard replay. He didn't actually hit Wallace, but the car that split the middle. 